Out there in the vast universe, along the Milky Way, is the place human beings call home. There are almost seven and a half billion people on Earth. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Fifteen thousand humans are born to proud parents every hour. But over the years, some have tried to find another way to create life: human cloning. Your copies of people out here in the world. What? Clones. Its possibility has proven controversial. Nineteen years ago, nineteen European countries took it upon themselves to ban human cloning. You can't just go around cloning people. That's just, that's crazy. The practice is broadly seen as dangerous and unethical, and opponents say it could be prone to abuse, arguing it will lead to a generation of humans whose organs and tissues will be harvested. The shroud of the dark side has fallen. Begun. The Clone War has. With the cloning of Dolly in 1996, the idea of human cloning became a hot topic of debate. To date, no known human clone has ever been produced. But in 2008, researchers cloned five human embryos. This was seen as the first step towards using cloning techniques for biomedical research and therapy. And while the ethics and legality of cloning are in dispute, some of the research suggests the practice is possible. I shall call him Mini Me. So, what will the future hold? If science one day says cloning is safe, and if it becomes ethically acceptable, will it be abused? Well, you cloned the wrong man. Or will human cloning forever remain unrealized? Donald Cameron, The Newsmakers. Well, joining me now from the U.S. city of Nashville is Dr. Joy Riley. She's the executive director of the Tennessee Center for Bioethics and Culture. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Riley. F first of all, human cloning—can we do it? Are we are we close to being able to do this? Well, that's a good question. I think that um, there is, there has certainly been a lot of, if you will, progress made since Dolly. Um, Stepped onto the stage in 1997. There have been um, various groups who have been interested in human cloning, and have made some headway. In fact, a Chinese group,、uh, I think, in 2015, announced that they were preparing to do so. Yeah, the the ancient Stoics basically told us, hey, you know, just because we can, it doesn't mean we should. What do you think? Do you think we should? Proceed with this, or we need to be very careful and put a lid on all this experimentation with regards to human cloning. I think human cloning is a dangerous activity.、Um, C.S. Lewis in *The Abolition of Man* said that when we can make ourselves anything that we please, that that means it gives the power to some people to make other people what they please, and that's true of human cloning. What's the biggest drawback? Uh, to human cloning, what do you fear the most, especially from a from an ethical point of view? Because you because you're concerned with bioethics here. Yes, exactly. Well, I think there are several concerns.、Uh, one is the unprecedented power it gives to one generation or some generation of researchers over the、um, those humans whom they would be producing in the lab. It turns human procreation into a production line, and when you have a production line, what are you worried about? You are worried about quality control. In fact, Joshua Letterberg, a well-known scientist,、uh, wrote writing in the American Naturalist in 1990, 1966,、uh, talked about what would happen with the、um, the malformed、uh, ones. And so, in cloning, so he was talking about this many, many years ago, and that would be a concern. Any time you have a production, you have to be concerned about quality control. And so he said you would have to figure out what to do with the mistakes, if you will. So those are two of the concerns about it. It is an affront to human dignity. The Declaration of、um, on the Human Genome and Human Rights、uh, said so. And that was actually adopted in 1997. So、uh, I'm not alone when I say it's an affront to、mm. human dignity. Okay, Dr. Joy Riley, great to get your perspective. Thank you very much for joining us.